In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front door latch assembly on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get started. To get the switch panel out, we have to remove this grab handle, and to do that, we have to pull off this cover for it so that we can access the two mounting bolts for it. So take a trim tool, pop off the bottom of it. There we go. Pull that off. Now you have two 10 millimeter bolts, one at the top and one at the bottom. With those off, you can pull this grab handle out of the way. Now pry up on this switch panel. With this switch panel up, let's unplug all the switches here. We'll start with the lock switch. Someone's clearly been in here before, so I'm gonna be careful with this one. Pry up on that little tab and push it off of here. The master window switch. And then the mirror switch over here. For this one, sometimes you'll need a pocket screwdriver to help you pry on it. There we go. Underneath this grab handle, you'll notice that there's a cover. We're gonna have to pop this cover off so we can get to the mounting screws that hold down the door. You can do this with a pocket screwdriver or a pick, or anything that'll get down here and kind of pry up on this cover. There we go. Two 10 millimeter bolts, remove both of them. Right by the door handle, you'll see another one of these covers. Pop this off as well, and another 10 millimeter bolt. Lift up on the door handle and remove the bolt. We have to remove the lock indicator. Make sure it's in the unlocked position. Grab a little pocket screwdriver or pick, and you're gonna wanna pry out on this cap, just like that. This will release it. You can pull it up and off. Remove the sail panel at the top, just pry it off. Now you should be able to pry out on this door panel. It's got some plastic clips holding it on. Now you can take the door panel, lift it up, but don't go too far with it because we still have the door handle cable attached. Let's remove the door handle cable. To get the door handle cable out, you're gonna have to pinch these two tabs. I'm gonna use some needle nose pliers to do this and then pull the cable out at the same time. There we go, get it out through that slot and then pull the ball end through. Now you can pull your door panel away. Peel off the vapor barrier. This is butyl tape here. Try not to get it on your clothing. It's uh, pretty difficult to get off if you do. In my case, the window is rolled down so I'm gonna roll it all the way up so that we can actually access everything through this opening here. Right on the door latch, you'll see this yellow retainer. We have to pop this apart so that we can remove the outer door handle rod. And to do this, it's best if you have a pick of some sort, grab it right over here and pull suddenly. This should pop the clip free and the rod comes off as well. On the outside of the door, you'll see three T30 Torx bolts. Let's remove them all. These are what hold the door latch onto the door. Grab onto the latch assembly. There's a, uh, another rod on the back of it right over here for the door lock. If you follow that rod up at the top, you'll see where it goes in to the uh, lock cylinder. Simply pry it out. You can see the retainer has a couple tabs and you have to just kind of slide it out of those. Now continue removing the latch assembly. Slide it down and wiggle it out of place here. Now we need to unplug this electrical connector. To do this, you can take whatever you have that'll pry up on this red tab at the top. There we go. As you pry up on it, this will release the connector. Now we can just take it and twist it and turn it, get it around the window track. And these are the two rods that we still have to get out, but here it is. To avoid confusion as to where these go, I'm going to do these one at a time. So I'm going to take this one out, just wiggle it. 
There we go. I put a little bit of grease on here. That will help it slide in, poke it through, and turn it. This is perfectly seated here. Now let's take this other one out. Same thing, turn it. If you break this, that's okay, because well, we're putting a new one on. These are fairly tight in here. There we go. Take this one, slide it through, turn it, and there you go. Now let's get the new door latch in here. I'm gonna get it past the window track and then I'm gonna plug it in. I don't wanna go too far before I do that. Just be careful not to break anything. Okay, there we go. Take the electrical connector and plug it in until it locks in place and then press this down. This will lock it in completely. Now bring this up into position. Make sure that the lock indicator pokes up and through this hole. Now you're gonna to wanna to lock this back in. To do that, simply press it into place. While holding and guiding the latch from the inside, start in the mounting screws on the outside. Snug them all up. Get the door handle cable back into the retainer. And lock the retainer in. Now you can put your vapor barrier back. Make sure all these wires are going through where they're supposed to be going through. Just like so. And stick it back if you can. If not, just use some tape to, uh, to get it glued in place here. All right, bring in the door panel. This is gonna be difficult to see and to do, honestly. You're gonna to have to hook the cable into the door handle and then up and through the slot. And then you'll have to bring this door panel fairly close to the door and then slide this cable through until it clicks. Now make sure these wires are coming through. Make sure the lock indicator comes through and slide this down onto the window seal here at the top. Just like so. Once all the push clips are lined up, tap it into place. Let's get this screw in by the door handle. Tighten that up. While you're here, might as well put this cover on. Make sure it clicks in place. Now let's get the two screws in up by the grab handle. Don't forget the cover. Put the sail panel back on. It's got three clips that it needs to line up with and snap into place. Now let's put back the switch panel, untangle all these wires if they're tangled up and reconnect them where they belong. We had the lock switch over here. Oh, obviously that works. And then a couple connectors on the window switch. Make sure all of those click. And lastly, the mirror switch. Now put this panel back down line it up and snap it into place. Now let's get the grab handle back in. Snug up these two bolts and put this cover back on. Let's get the lock indicator back on, line it up over there. To have it perfectly lined up, you wanna have it pressed up against the door panel with this little locking tab, then lock it in and as you can see, now it's perfectly lined up for lock and unlock. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.